Hello, second graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. Today, we're going to start a new topic, topic 10. Add within 1,000 using models and strategies. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add 10 and 100. We're going to use an open number lines and different strategies. All right, let's start. In your book, page 433. Forest Park Nursery sells trees. Sal buys a maple tree for $125. A spruce tree costs $10 more than a maple tree. An elm tree costs $100 more than a maple tree. What is the cost of a spruce tree? An elm tree. Use dollar bills, place value blocks, or mental math to solve. Be ready to explain how you solve the problem. All right. So... It looks a bit challenging, lots of numbers. So let's start our video and come back to this exercise. You can use mental math to add 10 or 100 to three digit numbers. Find 243 plus 10. Find 243 plus 100. Those are some big blocks. How do the blocks help you understand the number 243? The blocks show the value of each digit in the number. How many tens are in 243? How many tens are in 10? All right. So how many tens in 243? I know that this is a hundred and these are the 10 rods. So I can tell that there are four tens. And how many tens in 10 rods? 10 ones. There are four tens in 243. There is one 10 in 10. Four tens plus one 10 equals five tens. So 243 plus 10 equals 253. Find 243 plus 100. There are two hundreds in 243. Two hundreds plus 100 equals three hundreds. So as you see, we're adding only to the hundreds and that's mean my tens and ones will remain the same. Only the hundreds will increase by one because I'm adding one extra hundred. What is 243 plus 100? Select your answer. Remember, the hundreds are going to increase up by one. So I have 200. Now I'm going to have 300. So 343 because I did not add tens or ones. Two hundred forty three plus one hundred equals three hundred forty three. Sometimes adding ten changes the tens and hundreds digits. Find two hundred ninety plus ten. You know that two hundred ninety is equal to twenty nine tens. Twenty nine tens plus one ten equals thirty tens or three hundred. So 290 plus 10 equals 300. Each time 10 is added, how does the sum change? The sum increases by 10 each time 10 is added. If a 10 is added to 290, what digit changes? All right. As we say, when we add to the 10s, the 10s change increase by the number you add. So if I'm adding 110, my tens will increase by 110. So since this is 90, so 90 plus 10, it's 100. And that's why the 100, it changed. But let's say if this 270 plus 10, so that means the 70 will increase 110. So 70 will be 80. And if it's 80, extra 10 will be 90. And if I add 10 to the 90 will be 100. And that's when we say it's 300. And that's only the reason that 100 increase and change, although we're adding tens. Both the hundreds and the tens digits change. 
Now you know how to use mental math to add 10 or 100 to three digit numbers. Of course, if we add tens, you know where zero tens and 243 plus 10, you look at the tens in your number, which is a 43 plus 10, it's gonna be 53. If you're adding 100, so we're saying 243 plus 100, I know my hundreds are, are 200, so I'm adding one extra, it's gonna be 300, so it's gonna be 343. So that's what we say, it's a mental math that you can add it in your head because all what you increase, either the tens or the hundreds, so you don't need to regroup by adding any other numbers. All right, let's see our guided practice, page 434 in your book. Add use place value blocks or mental math. This is a place value block. So if you have these at home, you can always use them. Otherwise, it's easy, as we say, mental math. All right, first one is done for us. We have 325 plus 10. So let's see. One, two, three. So this is my 300 flat. 20, that's two tens. Five ones, one, two, three, four, five ones. So that's 325 plus one ten. So 325, that means my tens will increase by one. I know that I have two tens. Now I add one more, it's going to be three tens. So it's going to be 335. That's what we have here. All right, let's see the second one. What do we have here? How many hundreds? One, two, three, four. That's 400. One ten and two ones. So 400 and 12. 412. Let's put the number here. Plus, what am I adding? One ten, as you see. Plus 10. Now, 412 plus 10, I know that the 10 will increase by one. If I have one 10, now I'm adding one more, it's gonna be two 10, so it's gonna be 400. Very good, 422. All right, let's go for number three. Let's see how many hundreds we have. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five hundreds, no tens, no ones. So. 500, and what am I adding? 100. So now if I add all my hundreds, I have five plus one equals six. So I have 600. Okay, let's go for number four. Let's count how many would we have? One, two, that's 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 250. Do I have ones? Yes, three, one, two, three. So it's 253. Let's put this number down. Okay, what am I adding here? 100, awesome. Let's put 100. So I know that I'm increasing my 100 by one. How many hundreds I have? I have 200 here plus one, 300. 300 and my tens and my ones remain the same, 353. So let's write this down. All right. All right, it's easy. All right, let's go to our first exercise in our lesson. So let's listen to our equation. Forest Park Nursery sells trees. Sal buys a maple tree for $125. A spruce tree costs $10 more than a maple tree. An elm tree costs $100 more than a maple tree. What is the cost of a spruce tree? An elm tree. Use dollar bills, place value blocks, or mental math to solve. Be ready to explain how you solve the problem. All right, so the first part, the cell buys 100, um, 
maple tree for 125 and a spruce tree for $10 more than maple tree. So the maple tree 125 plus 10 more. So 125 plus 10 equals, we just know that 10, so I have two tens plus one, that's three, so it's going to be 135. All right, so this is the first one, 135. And we can use here So we have 100 20 and then 5 right plus 10 So I know that I'm adding only tens. All right, let's put that. We can use the money if you like, or we can use the place value. Okay, what's the second part? All right, the second part that An elm tree costs a hundred dollar more than a maple tree. I know that maple tree is one twenty five, so a hundred more. Okay, that's mean one hundred and twenty five equal. So again, we can use our 100 place value. So I'm going to put 100, and then I'm going to put 25, which is 210, and then five ones plus 100. So I know that I'm adding. 100. So this is, and now when I'm adding, I know what I'm adding. I'm adding 100 to the 100, so it's going to be very good, 225. So that's the total. All right. Let's put the dollar sign here as well. Plus ten dollar, and then the total one hundred and thirty-five dollar for spruce tree, and two hundred and twenty-five dollar for elm tree. And what did we use? We use place value. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you, second graders. Bye. Hello, second graders. Welcome to another lesson for our topic 10 and lesson two, add on an open number line. So we're still learning and dealing with adding numbers using place values. Today, we're going to use um, the number line, the open number line. So let's start. Use the open number line to find 598 plus 123. Explain your work. All right, so nothing new. We're going to put our hundreds in our an open number line, and we're going to add them together. We used that previously, but we used a smaller number. It was only two-digit number. Today, we're going to use three-digit number. So let's watch our video and come back to this exercise.
Find 481 plus 122. Use an open number line. One way to solve is to show jumps by hundreds, tens, and ones. What number is shown first on the open number line? Why is this number shown first? 481 is shown first on the open number line because it is the greater of the two addends. Then each part of 122 is added on, starting from 481. Why is it helpful to use an open number line to add like this? The number line helps you keep track of the numbers you have added. You can break apart one of the add ends into smaller numbers so it is easier to add mentally. So, when we have an open number line, first of all, you will keep track of the numbers that you need to add because you're going to say, let's say in this our example, 122. So you're going to have a big jump, that's the 100, and 22 means two tens. You can also make it one jump for 20, and you write up that you jumped 120, and then you add your ones. So like that, you're not missing a number. And then you're going to add, when I know 481 plus 100, that means my 100 increased by 100, so it's going to be 581. And then I can either, if the number is easy for me, I can go 20 right away. Or if I want it to be a smaller jump or a smaller step, I can say 10 and 10. And I put down when I add 10 to 581, that means my 10 is increased by 1. 591, again, another 10. Now, the 9 one would be, if, if it's a 90, 10, it's going to be a... 110, one, uh, 10 tens, that's mean 100. So you're going to add it to the, your 100, and that's why it's 601. And then you add the ones, that's two ones, one, two. Your answer is 603. Another way to add 481 and 122 is to make bigger jumps. 122 is broken apart in a different way. How are the two ways of adding similar? As you see, the answers the same. So I have the same answers in both way. And I started with my greater number, 481. And then I count on that number, I have 122. The only thing I did, I had bigger jump, 20 or if you have a smaller 10 by 10. But at the end, at the same, you're adding the same add -in, 122, and my answer, same in both ways. Both ways show using an open number line to solve 481 plus 122. The first number shown on the open number line is 481. Then 122 is added. How are the two ways different? that here I break the 20 to two tens, 10 and 10. But over here, I only had one jump for the tens, which is worth 20, same value. Here also the ones, I took smaller step, one and one, a value of two ones. Over here, I jumped one bigger jump for two ones together. 122 is broken apart in different ways. The second way uses bigger jumps on the open number line. Do both ways show the same sum? Select your answer. Yes. Yes. Both ways show that the sum of 481 plus 122 is 603. Both ways are correct. Now you know how to add using an open number line. So when we use an open number line, again, we start with the greater number or greater addend, and then we add the second addend that we have in our equation. In one uh, example, you break the, the addend to smaller jumps. So we have the hundred and then the tens, instead of two tens, I broke it to two separate tens, the ones I broke it to smaller steps, one and one. The second part, 
it's the same. I still use the same open number line. I started with the same number, 481, the greater add-in, and then I added the same number, 122. But here I had two tens I did it in one jump, and the two ones I also used one a bigger jump than two small steps. But at the end, I get the same sum, 603. Okay, let's see our guided practice in your book, page 438. Let's see what we have here. 375 plus 118. So we start with my bigger add-in or the greater add-in, 375. And then I add 118. So one big jump as an 100, 110 only. So I go for 110. And as you see, eight break apart to five and three. Because that's easy for me to add. I can easily add. Uh, any number to zero. So I can add like that. Or if you feel it's easy for you to add the eight by itself, or if you even want it to be eight ones, eight small steps, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's all up to you, um, whatever easier. But then this is the answer, 493. So 100, and then the tens, and then the ones. All right, let's see the second uh, one we have, 670 plus 232. So let's start. I know I'm starting with my greater add in 670. I need to add 232. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna add 200. So let's see. I can add 200 right away or I can add 100 at a time. So let's add 100 at a time. So that's 100. That's another 100. Okay. That's right here. Plus 100. And plus 100. All right. So 670 plus 100. My 100 increased by one. So 770. 770 plus 100, 870, very good. So let's put this down. So now I added the 200. What do I have left? Very good, three tens, 30 and two ones. So let's see, three tens, I can go like that. I can do three tens one time, or I can go two tens and one ten, or I'm gonna go 110 at a time. That's easy for me. I'm gonna write up there, plus 10. Plus 10. Then I'm gonna put it here. So here I'm adding three tens. So 870 plus 10, my tens increased very good by one. So it's gonna be 880, 880 by 10, 890, 890 by add 10, All right? So let's write it up here. So we have first one, eight. 890, 890 plus 10, very good. Let's put this down. All right, so now 900, do I have more to add? Yes, I have two ones, so I'm gonna make plus two. And then 
it here. So 900 plus two, it's going to be 902. 902. And I put my answer here. So now I know that 600, 670 plus 232 equals 902. Oh, I need to put this number up there, 902. All right. Okay, let's go to our first exercise in our book. Page 437 and answer the question we have. Use the open number line to find 598 plus 123. Explain your work. All right, so what we have, we have 598 and a second add in 123. So let's do that. I'm going to start with my first number. First addend, the greater addend, so 598. I'm going to put it in the first part of my number line. And let's write our equation 598 and So 598 plus 123, so I need to add first 100, All right? So let's go one jump, and that would be my first 100. So I'm going to write plus 100. I'm going to put it up here because I don't want to forget what am I adding. So 598 plus 100, that's mean my... 100 will increase by one. That's going to be 698. 698. Let's put it here. So now I added my 100. What's left? I have two tens. All right. And I have three ones. Well, in a situation like that, you can do whatever easier for you. So I'm going to do a trick way that I think it might be easy for you to use. I have, I, I use the 100 and 123. Now I have two tens and I have three ones. If I look, I have nine here. I could add one 10 at a time, or I could add the ones to the ones. So I can break the three, remember break apart. So I can break the three to two plus one. So I can do that. So I know that three is two plus one. I'm putting in my mind, I put a note on the side here that three equal, equals two plus one. I'm gonna put it in the side here, just to remember. I know that if I add two to the eight, that's my ones and I'm having ones here. If I add two to the eight, that will give me a zero a number with a zero and I know with my previous strategies, it's always easy to have one of your uh, addends that start with a zero. It's easy to add the second number. So I'm going to add two. So I'm going to take two from the note. I put it on the top here. Remember, the two plus one, three, it's the three in 123. It's the ones in my second addend. So I'm not getting numbers from anywhere. I'm using my addend. Um, using the ones first. Again, this is just something for you to try. If you don't like it, you don't have to do that. You can just go the same way we decided and we learned that you add the tens and then you add the ones. All right, so I'm gonna take two because I know 269, two, uh, 698 plus two, it's easy. So I'm gonna make a small jump with the ones. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna write on the top here plus two because I need to remind myself that this is not the tens, this is the ones. All right, and I'm gonna put it here. So what do I have? Not 698 plus two, eight plus two, 
Very good. So it's going to be 700. So I'm going to write 700. I'm going to put it here. All right. Remember, I can put it down a little bit. All right. Remember, I still have my two tens. So now I can add my tens. Let me use blue for the tens. So I'm going to have one ten, two ten. A little bigger. All right. So I'm going to write plus 10, plus 10. Okay, and I'm here. These are my 10. So 710, then 720. So now I have 710. And then 720, I'm gonna put them here. All right, am I done? Remember, yes, I still have one, just one to add. So I'm gonna go back to black and I add plus only one. So 720 plus one, it's 721. 721. And now I'm gonna write it again to Put it in my sum here. So 598 plus 123 equals 721. So again, I use this strategy, but you can use the way we used before. You add your 100 first, so it's going to be 698. Add another, um, that's another that you have one 100. So then after that, add the two tens. So 698 plus 10 plus 10, and then add your ones together three ones. All right, at the end, your uh, sum should be 720. All right, that's it for today's second graders. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity in your book. Thank you.